Bluehost, HostGator, and SiteGround are three of the big juggernauts for hosting WordPress websites, but one of these companies is not recommended by WordPress themselves. And at the end of this video, I have a special discounted price for all three of these. I've got the hookup that I can share with you guys, so stay tuned for that. We're gonna be comparing these hosting platforms on a five point scale. And to start, Bluehost and HostGator are actually owned by the same parent company. It's a giant conglomerate that goes around buying different hostings and putting them together to make the prices cheaper for you but debatably the quality might be cheaper as well. Bluehost and HostGator are very similar though. I will say Bluehost is actually recommended by WordPress and HostGator isn't, so there's a slight advantage for Bluehost. Now on the other hand, HostGator is usually a little bit cheaper, so right off the bat, I'd say between Bluehost and HostGator, I personally would go with Bluehost, but they're pretty similar. Like you really can't go wrong, so compare the prices down below. So now let's take Bluehost versus SiteGround. And warning, the winner of this one might surprise you, but we're gonna go step by step comparing them on all these different points. So one of the first things I wanna talk about is both of these are recommended by WordPress to host WordPress sites, which means it's also recommended by WooCommerce as well. So check for both of them for that. Next up, let's talk about ease of use. Now this is highly debatable, and some people in the comments are definitely gonna, whatever choice I make, some people are gonna disagree with me. They're both really easy to use. Personally for me, I think Bluehost is just a little bit easier to use. I really like their chat and support, but from what I've heard, the, the chat and support on SiteGround is absolutely amazing as well. So I'll say slight advantage to Bluehost on this one, but once again, it's debatable. It's probably pretty even. Next up, let's compare the two on speed and uptime. And this is very important. If the uptime means how often is your website going to be up, and the speed is how quick is your website gonna be. Now I've seen a bunch of different data on this. I've personally tested it out a bunch of different times myself. And I will say, sadly, SiteGround does win this one. Next up, let's compare the two on security. Both of these are super secure. You're not gonna go wrong purchasing either one. But again, SiteGround wins this one. They have a free SSL certificate, even with their cheapest plan. That's a pretty cool advantage for SiteGround. Now let's talk about the price. Now, of course, you're probably assuming that these two are gonna be priced right around the same, and they are pretty close, but again, advantage to SiteGround. SiteGround is a little bit cheaper, and you can look at the prices down below. Like I said, they fluctuate. Sometimes Bluehost runs sales, sometimes SiteGround runs sales or jacks up their price, but there are links down below and up above to check out the latest prices. Lastly, let's compare how well these two run WordPress and WooCommerce. To be honest, I, I've done a lot of research on this and it's about a tie. They both run WordPress and WooCommerce perfectly, super easy to use. You have one click installs for both of them. So what, what does that mean for you? That means that if you wanna set up a website with Bluehost or with SiteGround, it's extremely easy. Within just about one click, I mean, it takes a little bit more than one click, but with about one click, you're able to set up a website. Once you do this one time, you'll just, every time you have a new idea, you'll set up a new website. And that's what I've found myself doing. So let's compile all this data. And ultimately, and I almost hate to say it, SiteGround is by far the winner in my opinion. I did a lot of research. They're uh, a cheaper option. They run better. Their speed and uptime is better. Their security is a little bit better. And it's a, all the rest are more or less tied. So if I were to get a new host today, I for sure would go with SiteGround. Now I do have links up here and down below for all these that have special offers. And to let you know, I do get a small kickback if you use one of my links, but as a thank you, I'll give you a free 30 minute one-on-one -on -one consultation session if you use my links up here or down below. Now, this is not a paid video. All three, all three of these I have affiliate links with. In fact, I think I actually make a little bit more money with Bluehost and HostGator. But the truth is, I think SiteGround's the best one. And if I were to do it over again, I would use SiteGround. That being said, if you go with Bluehost, and I still have Bluehost, you're not gonna be upset. Same thing with HostGator. You're not gonna be, not gonna be kicking yourself. Well, maybe you will, like I am right now. But anyways, moral of the story is, if I were to do it over again, I would go with SiteGround. But no matter what choice you make, make it today. Start your website. If you haven't bought your URL yet, go buy your URL. Then the next step is go buy hosting. Get your idea, get your website out into the real world. And the easiest way to do this is to get hosting and get started today. Buying hosting was the best thing I've ever done for myself. It was kind of the first step in making money online. So don't delay, get hosting today.